Go Tigers! special edition of Tiger News. I am proud to bring you our 2019-2020 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Roland Cohagen. The list of ways that Mr. Cohagen serves our IMS community is just incredible, and I am lucky to call him my colleague. He is presently serving as avid drama Tiger News video production and director, um, coding social studies teacher, in addition to being our football basketball and softball coach. Our on the ground reporters will be helping us to take a closer look at what makes Mr. Cohagen so unique. Good luck. Um, <laughs> thank you Mr. Cohagen for joining us today and allowing us the opportunity of getting to know you a little better. Give us an idea about how or why you began teaching. Uh, it was an accident. I was working in uh, public health in Orange County and I was in transportation, so I was driving people to and from appointments and support groups. And we had a support group that was just for uh, school age children. And that was every Thursday during the school year. And at first it didn't sound like very much fun and I had another commitment. And then it quickly became my favorite day of the week. And it was such a great group of kids that I just, I stayed a full shift all day and then would work until 10 o'clock at night, making sure they had support and then uh, would go home and 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 just love it. So it's an accident. <laughs> Mr. Cohagen, who is or was your inspiration as an educator? If I was to look back on the teachers that I had when when I was younger, uh, there were a lot of middle school teachers uh, that I had, like Mrs. Erickson, Mrs. Falch, Mr. O'Rourke, uh, Miss Murray, a drama and history teacher, obviously for what I try to do in a day is a big one. Um, Ms. Brown, just, just to name a few, uh, and I can't name everybody. Um, my band director in high school, Mr. O'Rourke, uh, sorry, Mr. Overbow, who just celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, and Mr. Woods, uh, other director, uh, were, were important for me. Ms. Dean, my, my drama instructor in high school too, because they gave me the space to just be me. And, and I think that's important. Uh, and if I talk about today, you know, the people I work with are wonderful. If, if you have issues with me, uh, Ms. Hollis is the one who hired me into this district, so you can get a hold of her if you don't like it. Uh, um, Mrs. Ramirez, you're, uh, you know, obviously very high on that list. Mr. Ramirez, uh, Mrs. Mase, I mean, just I could name so many people here. And of course, I love these students and the ones we have with us right now are just tremendous. They're fantastic kids. So I think that's the important thing is every day you walk in, you work with kids. I think that has to be what really truly drives you and really lucky that these are great kids. All right, Benny. All right, so my question is what like inspired you to become in like an education or, or a teacher basically? It was that moment, it was working with those kids and it was how I got to work with those kids uh, who were in that special group and not worrying as, you know, about every academic thing, but you know, it was that, it was multiple levels. It was, do you feel secure? Do you feel safe? Uh, how can we help you with those things first so that you feel comfortable uh, to learn and to do academic things? So that, that was a game changer, being able to work with those kids on that level. Okay. Hi, Mia Bella. Um, what is the most memorable moment from the past school year? Well, we've already discussed a lot of moments. So uh, Tiger News is a fun one every day. The Haunted House um, was a lot of fun. Uh, all of our girls' basketball games, win or lose, and every practice, by the way, with those girls, every day with them, was a joy, was a treat, and I wouldn't, I couldn't replace it. And then certainly seeing Gia uh, become a member of the Tiger Run Club, March 11th, 2020, remember where you were everybody on that day, because I know where I was and where I was supposed to be, and I wasn't because I was here 
uh, watching that young lady do that. So, I mean, I, you, I could pick a, so, a, you know, a thousand moments this year. It's been, you know, you guys are great. What I want to know is, what is the greatest trophy you award of being a teacher? Uh, it's the, it's that, uh, relationship building and those moments that come after a student leaves, those are the most rewarding is getting to sit and have those real conversations. Mr. Cohagan, uh, people are going through a lot emotionally right now. What do you say to yourself when you need inspiration to keep going? Uh, you, what do I need to do today to improve upon yesterday, to be better today? Uh, because not every day is a great day, right? So you got you got you to think about that. And then I think, you know, the another the next best thing to say is, who can I reach out to if I'm not feeling it? Who can who can I reach out to? Okay, so my turn. <laughs> so uh, what is being teacher of the year going to affect um, the this year and next year? I think uh, I think it just it it changes the expectation, but I think it, it changes things in a positive way. I mean, in a, certainly as a coach and a teacher, you're already examining how you can do things differently, do things better. And I think this, I think that is the number one thing is it, it makes me really take a step back and look at all of those mechanisms and all of those pieces and parts and how they're going to fit together and, and make next year even better. Because I, again, that's the goal. How do I, how am I better today? How am I going to be better next year? creative thing you have done to engage your students you know and I just thought of something else uh, that we haven't talked about uh, you know I the vault uh, last year uh, which I liked which is kind of like an escape room and we're you know we're doing the escape rooms right now too uh, with our, our zoom meetings uh, I th also think that um, when I invite um, uh, Elaine to on the news every Friday I think that is something that for whatever reason is interesting to people. I don't know why, but when she comes on, that's very interesting. So I think that kind of, that kind of pushes people uh, and, and you know, motivates them. And then oh, that is. Elaine three comes on and, and, and now it's a party, you know, so people, people want to enjoy that. So I, th I think that's part of a big part of the creative part. Mr. Cohagan, do you feel you are making a positive difference at, in the IMS community? I do, I hope so. I hope people see see it that way. Um, you know, not every day is perfect, but I feel like, you know, we're definitely doing positive things and I'm contributing to that positivity, uh, absolutely. Um, lastly, I'm going to guess from, from what Mrs. Ramirez said that um, all of your colleagues must really respect and honor what you do. Uh, I want to know what you think stands out most to them. My humor, although somebody was insistent I wasn't funny at all a little bit ago. So, uh, but I think my humor and that passion for you students, I think, is is also high on the list. Well, first of all, I want to thank um, our correspondents here for joining Great. us. Benny, thank you so much. We love you. You're welcome. Gia Bella, always a pleasure. Gia, what can I say? Um, these are last, these are great. You guys are absolutely fantastic students, and I love you guys. Cream in the crop here, um, Mr. Cohagan. Thank you for joining us. Um, you are truly an inspiration on this special edition of Tiger News, uh, and thank everyone else. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, and as always, remember what we say here: Tigers, roar, tigers, tigers roar. <laughs>